Hello everyone, welcome to the financial information channel. My name is Marvin. In this video, I'm going to give you the stock market news during the week and some of the company earnings that reported on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Now let's begin with the video. And before anything, we're going to take a look how the stock market did during the week. And the first thing we're going to check is the Dow. And as you can see in the screen, the Dow went up 0.45% during the week. The Nasdaq went up 1.09% during the last five days. And the SFP 500 was positive with 0.23% during the last five days. And as you saw this Friday, the stock market actually went up a huge amount. The technology sector had a huge day on Friday. And as you can see on the screen, just on Friday, there were five technology companies that added a lot of market cap. Amazon was the biggest winner. It actually captured around 61.7 billion in market cap. And the lowest out of the group was Facebook with 22.4 billion. And I'm going to show you how the market cap is after Friday. And as you can see on the screen, Apple is still the number one in terms of market cap with 842.2 billion. And the lowest is Facebook with 516.6 billion. So on Friday, there were a lot of technology companies that had an amazing day. Now, the first story that I'm gonna cover is gonna be AMD. And as you know, AMD was not participating during this week when the technology companies rallied for a huge amount. The company actually beat the EPS on revenue. However, the guidance was weak. And as you can see in the screen, the revenue for the year is over 26% over the previous year. And they had the revenue growth over 34% over the previous quarter. And in terms of how the company has been doing during the last few months, the company has been reducing the debt. If you compare from the third quarter of 2016 to the third quarter of 2017, the company has been able to reduce the debt. However, in terms of guidance, the revenue is not going to go anywhere. And as you can see in the screen, the company expects to be down 15% of revenue growth over the previous quarter. I'm going to be honest, I'm actually disappointed because the company actually guided down the company shares and the company dropped a huge amount. And in my opinion, the guidance before the summer wasn't that bad, but this time the company deserved to be down that much. And you have to understand the last two quarters of the year usually bring a lot of revenue. And when a company expects and announce to be down during the last quarter of the year, the company is going to drop a huge amount. And the thing is this company hasn't lived up to the performance of 2016. And as you can see in the screen, the whole year from 2016, the company went up 295% during the whole year. But if we take a look at the performance in 2017, the company has barely gone up. The company is positive. 4.41% in 2017. And at this moment, I am down in my position with $13 with 50 cents. And I expect to be down for at least a few more weeks. There's no excuse for a company to go from a triple digit performance to a single digit performance. And I think that's the reason why the company has dropped such a huge amount. And this is supposed to be a growth company. However, the growth number haven't been that impressive. The good thing is some of the products have performed well. They have a few contracts with Microsoft, Beidou and Tencent. And the long term view about this company should be fine. But now you have to take a look at this company at the second place behind NVIDIA and at the second place behind Intel. And now we're going to take a look at the next company, which is going to be Tesla. And as we know, Tesla is hated by a lot of analysts and a lot of value investors. However, the share price has been excellent during the last seven years. And as you can see from July 9 to the present, the company has been up over 1700. And if you want to compare Tesla to GM, which are actually in the same sector, GM has been up over 30% during the last seven years. And Tesla's stock price has been great. However, the valuation for the company is really high. And this is one of the most emotional companies that you can invest. And that means if you're willing to have that risk to invest that money, you have to know that this company might go down a huge amount in a short time. In the other hand, the company has given investors a huge positive return during the last few years. Now, in terms of news, there has been a lot of news that the company has not produced a lot of Tesla Model 3s. There was a report that the company only produced 260 cars that are Model 3 and it has a backlog or 450,000. In addition, there has been a lot of news 
that Tesla had fired around 400 to 700 employees because of performance issues. So this is one of the most interesting stocks because the company might go up really high or it can drop a huge amount. And if the company reports good earnings, the company is going to go up over $360 per share. And Tesla report earnings next week and I'm going to have that video ready by the next day. And now let's take a look at Amazon about the news that Amazon has for this week. And as you know, Amazon had a good quarter, but the most important thing is to see how the company was going to utilize the Whole Foods acquisition. And Amazon said that they plan to use the Whole Foods acquisition to reach more people in the physical retail space. And I do think that Amazon wants to have the same effect that Apple stores have with the Whole Foods acquisition. More than 1 million people visit the Apple store every day. That is an amazing number. And when Amazon presented the earning quarter, they added a line that says physical stores. The revenue for the quarter came out around 1.3 billion for this quarter. And the second news about Amazon is that they plan to have a service called Amazon Key. And that service is so you can give permission to a person to go into your house and deliver anything that you have ordered from Amazon. That is in case if you're not home. And the basic idea is that you're going to be able to see on your smartphone when the person delivers a package when you're not home. Now, that is an interesting idea. However, I don't know if a lot of people are going to allow that to happen. You're basically allowing a stranger to go into your house. And the next thing, we're going to take a look at the earnings to see how the company did during the week. And the first company is going to be Boeing. Now I mentioned Boeing in the 5 dividend stocks and the company had been amazing. And during earnings the company beat the earnings again, it beat the EPS by 6 cents and it beat the revenue by 380 million, the revenue year to year is 1.7%. And by the way they actually updated the guidance, the guidance is a little bit high but what I was most impressive is that they have a cash flow of 1 billion per month. And the company shares actually moved down even though the quarters was actually good. And this is a company, even though the company has gone up over 70% during the year, I think it's going to continue going up. But it provided a discount if you plan to invest for the long term for the company. And even if the discount wasn't that huge, I think this company should be fine for the long term. Now let's take a look at the next company that reported earnings and this Coke. And Coca-Cola beat the EPS. It beat the EPS by 1 cent. And it beat the revenue by 240 million. Their revenue year to year is negative 14.6%. Now for Coke, the company hasn't done that much during the last 5 years. But this year, the company has been up over 11% I believe. And I will see Coke mostly as a dividend stock. Because the dividend is actually really good. I do prefer PepsiCo over Coke. But this year, Coke has been better. Now, for the next company, it's going to be Sirius XM. And they actually beat the EPS by 2 cents. And they beat the revenue by 10 million. The revenue year to year, 7.8%. And for the company, the net income was up 42%. And the EBITDA was over 12%. I still don't know how this company is able to have huge numbers in revenue because it is in a very challenging space. And the company has a good management team. Now let's take a look at the next company which is Visa. And in terms of Visa, they beat the EPS by 5 cents. And it, they beat the revenue by 230 million. The revenue year to year 14.1%. And Visa has been amazing this year. To be honest, all of the payment systems have been great, including PayPal, Visa and probably Mastercard which will report next week. And the next company that reported earnings was Alphabet. Now I was impressed with Alphabet. They beat the EPS by $1 with 24 cents and the revenue by 600 million. Their revenue year to year is 23.8%. So the company mentioned that the advertising revenue was up almost 23% during the year. Now as you know it is no secret that this company has a good fundamentals. However the company revenue growth continues to be over 20%. And the next company that reported earnings was Amazon. And Amazon beat the EPS by 49 cents and they beat the revenue by 1.6 billion. The revenue year to year is 33.7%. And Amazon reported great numbers. The most impressive number to me was the AWS was actually up 42% during the year. And the operating cash flow was up 14% year to year. And the company share price reacted positive. At this moment, the share price is around 1100. And now the next company that reported earnings was Baidu. And Baidu actually had bad earnings. It beat on their EPS 
by $1 with 85 cents. However, it missed on the revenue by 30 million. The revenue year to year is 27.9%. And the company announced lower guidance for the next quarter. And as soon that announcement was made, the share price moved down over 10%. And the next company that I was interested to see how they were going to report was Intel. And Intel beat the EPS. Intel beat the EPS by 21 cents. And it beat the revenue by 420 million. The revenue year to year is 2.3%. And Intel had a good quarter. It was just as good as the quarter during the summer. And the guidance was actually really good. They improved the guidance. And the company improved the revenue by 700 million. And the EPS by around 25 cents. And this actually looks bad on AMD because they actually lowered the guidance. And this company that is a competitor actually improved the guidance. And for the next company that reported earnings is Microsoft. Now Microsoft has another fantastic quarter. It beat the EPS by 12 cents and the revenue by 980 million. The revenue year to year is 11.9%. And this time the company shares moved up. And as you remember, when the company reported earnings during the summer, the company shares moved down. And that was a buying opportunity if you believe in Microsoft. I do think that this company is going to continue moving up during 2018. And when I was reading the earnings transcripts, they mentioned that the Azure actually had a revenue growth of 89%. And remember, this company pays a good dividend. I had this company as well in the five dividend stocks because this company is very capable of continuing paying that dividend and continue raising that dividend. And the next company that reported good numbers on Thursday was Twitter. And Twitter was up actually a huge amount on Thursday. And the company beat the EPS by 3 cents. And it beat the revenue by 3.27 million. The revenue year to year is negative 4.2%. And the company mentioned that the monthly active users were up 4%. And the daily active users were up 14%. And Twitter was up on the double digits during after hours. Now let's take a look at the company that reported Friday. And the first one is Chevron. Now Chevron beat the EPS by 5 cents. And it beat the revenue by 2.14 billion. The revenue year to year is 20.1%. But the company disclosed during the earnings that they had an asset sale of around 675 million and 220 million asset write off. So that improved the numbers for the company. And the other company that reported earnings was Colgate. And they were in line with the EPS. And the company beat on the revenue by 30 million. The revenue year to year is 2.6%. They mentioned that the organic sales were up 1.5%. However, the shares actually moved down because there wasn't a lot of growth. And the last company that reported earnings on Friday was ExxonMobil. And they beat the EPS. The company beat the EPS by 7 cents. And the revenue by 2.81 billion. The revenue year to year is 12.8%. And ExxonMobil actually had a really good quarter. They mentioned the Hurricane Harvey reduced the earnings by 4 cents. And the company share price might continue moving up during the next few months. And that is gonna be everything for the video. Please leave in the comment section below if you have any stocks mentioned in this video. And I do have shares in Alphabet, which are a fantastic quarter. And remember, you can subscribe to the financial information channel. I'm gonna continue bringing videos about the stock market, personal finance, and how to make money online. I'm gonna thank you once again for watching the video. Have an excellent day and take care, my friends.